I suppose I should have an intro just in case this is- Oh, I'll shut the f*** up, never mind. <laughs> Do you know anything about this movie? No, I just know there's a haunted mannequin. I got, like, slappy from Goosebumps vibes. You know what I'm talking about? I No, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's the guy I had a nightmare about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does that kind of look like William Osman to you? Yeah, I, 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 he looked familiar. I just wasn't sure what name to put to him. Uh, bets on what's in the crate. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> If I had to guess, you know he's bad because he has an eye patch. You know, it's a lost art. You don't see it anymore, <laughs> to be honest. What the? You teasing. We don't get the reveal. Oh, he eats them. Oh, hold on. We don't, don't presume. Oh, he shoots oh. them. <laughs> this guy looks like three different guys. <laughs> I was about to say, every time it pans back to him. <laughs> it's really fucking with me. <laughs> that was good, I like that. Not a scratch on the car. Oh, there was another driver. She witnessed everything. No, I think she just hit him. Do you remember that gray alien meme? Gray alien? Yeah, it just was like a dancing alien. That's what that silhouette reminds me of. After the accident, did you notice anyone else? Did you see anything? So this movie's supposed to be satirical? Is it? I don't know. I, I can't tell. You didn't use your wipers? Why is there blood on the windshield still? <laughs> I was going off the way the police officers spoke to each other just now. It was like super dramatic. The guy had a hat. How was your day? Biz, that's fucking Ian from Smosh. <laughs> Once you pass your LSAT, we're home free. You at law school, me teaching at the junior college. By the time you graduate, I'll have my PhD. Like, they're making fun of exposition dumps, are they not? I don't- I don't know. It's too bad I can't meet your parents, but... Also, wait. You also thought that was your dad? Same. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was the detective from earlier with the hat. What? No, but he doesn't have the hat. It's hard to tell what satire and what's just typical schlock. Oh, yeah. You won't cover the cost of another life. So, whoa, oh, that cut! I thought you skipped forward a little bit. You see how I was standing there, sitting there with a fork and knife in each hand like a little kid? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think she's, like, possessed in some way by the thing, or is she just, like, shell-shocked? I mean, she did murder somebody. You know what's really annoying? Hmm. For the last five minutes, I've been repeating the epic rap battles of history Abraham Lincoln line, where he ends with, Wipe that smile off your face and beat, beat this, this dummy. dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since we said dummy, that's all I've been hearing. Yeah. Oh, she's, she speaks. Hmm. Interesting. I thought this guy was like a director when he pulled up. Oh, yo, Chug. Chug. <laughs> Chug. Get another one. <laughs> that, would, that would not calm my nerves. That would make me feel so much worse. Let's take a shot like an adult. Have you seen the movie Rubber? Uh, I have, but it's been a long time. Okay, same with me, but that's all I'm thinking about right now. And I don't like that movie. Yeah, so that's why you're thinking of the satire thing of it, like being, a, being yeah. filmed as a movie. Yeah. It's a lot of cuts. <gasps> Ooh. A lot of cuts. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw him. I saw him. I okay, saw him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's gone. Oh, she she looked away. <laughs> Number one rule. Frankie? What is it? What's wrong? This is like the twelfth character we've seen. You know, when you killed the guy? Were you texting someone or Wh there's so many cuts? Why? Uh, uh, well if how quiet this club is. <laughs> Are you gathering what's going on right now? What was with that one old dude earlier on the phone? I I forgot his dialogue entirely. I think he was like, he must have been the originator of the mannequin or like he was haunted by it before. <gasps> Am I watching a trailer? Well, Lewis got himself kicked out. We're heading back to the house. I can't keep up with this movie. I don't like this movie. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I have to raise my voice because the music's loud. <laughs> Here. Help chase it down. Thanks, Molly, but if one pill isn't good Thanks, enough, Molly. I wonder what they're taking. The second act of this movie better bring some heat. <laughs> it's rated, like, decently. I, I don't see how. The movie's too smart for us. Either that or there's, like, four reviews. <laughs> From the director, the writer. <laughs> and one of them was negative. Man, playoff basketball is about to be crazy, right? Anyway, speaking of male pattern baldness, a genetic condition that affects two out of every three guys by the time they're 35. Good thing I'm not 35. And also the third guy in that statistic.
right? Let's not gamble this away. Get professional care for hair loss from the comfort of your home without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy. With the very convenient Keeps Today sponsor. Just complete an online consultation to get a tailored treatment plan. Treatments that are not only clinically proven to work, but also are personalized to address your unique needs and recommended by a licensed medical provider specially trained in men's hair loss. Treatment is delivered right to your door on schedule, discreet packaging. You can pause, cancel anytime. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have. Keeps has you covered. Keeps offers both of the FDA approved hair loss treatment options, as well as a two-in-one treatment that combines both treatments. Hair thickening shampoo, conditioner, styling pomade. These products work together to complement your treatment plan and enhance results by making thinning hair look thicker using a special formula designed by hair loss experts. Most Keeps men notice results within six months of first starting treatment, over 5,000 five-star reviews. And over the last six years, Keeps has treated over 1 million men experiencing hair loss with only science-backed ingredients. And as part of your Keeps treatment plan, you can message your medical provider or the Keeps team 24-7. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video and for the free product. Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash Mr. Dubs or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Mr. Dubs. And thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring this video. I think I'm going to be sick. Maybe if you stopped waving your arms <laughs> in front of my face like that. Let me get these four droplets of water on my nose. Can't get your face too wet for the next shot. See, that that just made me think that this movie was going to take a massive turn and like the mannequin was going to end up being like a metaphor for something much more sinister and realistic. Yeah, like, yeah. Because then that would have made sense for the reviews. Kind of like a PTSD thing from running over a man? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that as the example. Oh. And cut. Oh no. I feel like I'm watching an experimental YouTube video. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, this this probably would have done numbers in like 2012. Freddy Wong would have popped the fuck off with this. <laughs> Mannequin would pull around the corner with a gun. Heard Frankie and Molly get off too. Probably bailed. Frankie wouldn't do that. Oh, not to Jonah. Frankie's got a boyfriend. Steve, remember? I'm going to make sure we say the names of all of our friends in these sentences. <laughs> I've never seen her like this before. Not even when her parents died. I mean, with what she's been through in the past 24 hours, it's enough to make anyone see a mannequin. <laughs> this dialogue is horrible. If if you could see my face right now, I just got this permanent stank face on right now, and I'm genuinely considering leaving this movie. <laughs> You're just gonna ditch Drake, Jonah, Lewis, <laughs> <laughs> all of our friends we made along the way. Is it a mannequin dog? I was about to say, this better be a dog mannequin. Uh oh. <laughs> I was about to say, that dog does not look intimidating at all. <laughs> He's so bad. Hey, I got your dog. Have you even been, like, jump scared by anything so far? Has there been an attempt at jump scares? I think that was one just now. Oh, he looked away. Is that, is that? Ah, and that's what you're not supposed to do. Right. This movie is genuinely terrible. <laughs> I'm genuinely struggling to even comment on anything. I, I keep trying to give it excuses. I'm like, okay, maybe because like the quality is a little lower. I'm watching it. Maybe I need to put the volume up. Get a little closer. Can I help you with something? I mean, he sees it's a mannequin, right? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty well lit at that point. I got your dog. Oh, that one's got a wig. That one's got a wang. When it cuts, it does not look like that was what he was doing, or that's where he was heading. Yeah, it's not cohesive at all. This fucking guy. I got your favorite Pop-Tart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spam Pop-Tart and eggs. <laughs> you love it when I take one wild berry Pop-Tart and put it on a plate. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you are not crazy. But you are still very much a suspect. <laughs> a gas leak? Bad drugs? I, I don't know, but whatever it is, it isn't a... Gulp. Say it. I'll go talk to my advisor. Tell him I need a few days off. Sound good? Ooh. <laughs> Sound good. Scrunches up her hair. All right, go ahead and eat your pop tart. Go big and strong. <laughs> I can't not see Ian from Smosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't even really look like him. <laughs> I know, but I just see it. Crossfade. Oh no, that was the that was the cinema sins. Oh, it sure was. I think that's called dumpster hit four. 
I wasn't sure at first, but I saw it the night I hit the driver. <laughs> then at the club. <laughs> that was like a YouTube edit. <laughs> is this sponsored by PBR? Hold on, let me drink from my PBR. I think this is... Uh, that's product placement. Yeah. Did you not see the Ram logo earlier? No. Oh, what? There's people who got involved in this? It may just be like one of those low budget thing where they just don't try to hide anything and they just do it. Was that r slash viral videos? Dude, this is I got you, you overdid it with the glitch effects. You couldn't mm -hmm. let <laughs> Don't what? Don't what? Come on, guys. That's just some crappy viral video. Probably a marketing gimmick for a new horror movie. Yeah, like what they did for Blair Witch Project or something. <laughs> One minute it's there, the next. It follows. Oh. <laughs> All right, cut it out. Too far. Seriously. Way too far. Wow, I gotta hand it to you too. I'm glad we're all taking turns talking. <laughs> uh, guys, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you might want to see this. <laughs> oh, 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 were the eyes moving? Frankie, Anthony's coming over and we're shooting food battle. We went over this, but it, it was right there. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, but everyone saw it. Why is no one backing her up? Frankie and I need to talk. Whoa. I did not like that face. I didn't either. Why didn't anyone say anything? That's what I said! <laughs> no, but like... Louis, you saw it with your own eyes. Jonah, come on. Man. Did they have a quota with saying each other's names? You call it shiny. Hold on. Is this satire? It has to be. They're like trying to name as many horror movies as possible. The mannequin is stalking me and my family help. His name is Flesh Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was trying to read it. That's funny. Bet's on if the mannequin goes in the water. I feel like he's going to open his eyes underwater and uh, he's going to be like at the end of the pool. Yeah, I, I was thinking he was going to be like at the, at top, the top, you know, yeah, like when yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the kid looks up to the parent mm -hmm. after they hit the, the dash and shit. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. Oh, nope, he's in the oh, water. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we lost. <laughs> I think full satire would be like floaties on the, <laughs> on the arms. Oh, uh, yeah, he got that one. Who would have thought? So maybe it is a metaphor or some way of like the husband or boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know what their relationship is because he's like trying to be like, ah, you're crazy. He's the only one that's not seeing it. I, I don't know. I don't know what it could be a metaphor for. But then how does it go to the friends? I don't get the how the metaphor transfers that way. I, I don't know. Never mind. Maybe he's bugging too. Oh, he's been seeing it. He's just been trying to deny it because it's so stupid. And he's a scholar. He would never believe in something so dumb. <laughs> My advisor's never going to believe this. I had the most terrible nightmare. I cut you up into little pieces and I... It's a little extra. What do you say to that? Come back to bed. Is Jonah her ex? Jonah's lover boy. Remember, I think he's got a crush on her. And I'd never let anything hurt you. They're doing a great job of making him very uncomfortable. He, he is sweating. <laughs> hey, look at that. Cinema Sins round two. Wow. Who dies next? Ah! I was about to say, I think she's gone. Is this movie going to end soon? Oh, man, I hope so. Who is this? Listen to me and do exactly as I say. It's old man. Mm, this stinks. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I don't care about anybody. I'm just kind of waiting for the movie to end. <laughs> right now, we need to get everyone back to your place or more people are going to die. It, it, it's satire. It's satire. Just the way he was acting the, the there. acting. Like, it's overacting by mile. It's satire. He has declined fast. This guy aged, like, 20 years. <laughs> no, that's uh, my thoughts exactly. Enough with this mannequin. You're freaking everyone out. Says the guy who's day drinking a 40 right now. Oh, Randy Newman? Is the mannequin driving him nuts so they can pin all the murders on him, or what? I have no idea. It's so weird. We're further- it feels like we're further along in the movie, but the plot has not gone anywhere. Correct. Th it has been the same mannequin the entire time, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's the other girl wearing yellow. Why does she have a Nokia ringtone? Oh, it's a one miss call reference. Oh, that's not the ringtone though. <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. I, I will say, I, I watched one miss call when I was younger. That ringtone like haunted me. Oh, oh that was no! A, that was a pretty good. Oh, never mind. No, what was pretty good? <laughs> one more time? What are the odds that the bartender's a mannequin? You know what? Pretty high. Uh, can I have another one? Even better. Nobody. <laughs> Back off, man. It's not fair. We didn't do anything. It was her. Frank is the one who brought this thing into our lives. What happened? Where's Madison? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, my God. Tell me everything you know. What is this thing? Why is it after us? 
Are they bad actors or if, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. How on earth does this have the ratings it does? If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die on my own terms. You dig? <laughs> <laughs> you dig? He did exactly what it wanted. It's not your fault. He didn't know. He just hopped on board that quickly? I know. He was like, D you did this. Hey, don't, don't beat yourself up, man. Please don't. You chugged a beer earlier in the movie. You took drugs and shots. <laughs> what are you, are you to judge? Is this what you guys are so afraid of? Yoo-hoo. Shouldn't you be at a Sears, buddy? Who let you at a JC Penny? Nothing to worry about. It. <laughs> He's faking it. He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. Yeah. And now he really does. Not everyone looked away. Oh, so if someone just stays on it the entire time? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I think it's the whole thing. I wonder if the longer you stare at it, you start to get entranced. I think you're trying to make it deeper than it is. Let me watch it, chefs. Why couldn't you just, like, all watch it while you, like, burn it? Also, that guy, like, fell apart really quickly. He's upset his girlfriend's acting different after she saw, like, 30 people die in the span of 24 hours. She murdered somebody. Her best friend got, well, who I assume was her best friend, got murdered. And he's pissed that she didn't eat the Pop-Tart that he put on a plate. I think that was actually the most distressing part. We're both under a lot of stress with everything that's going on right now. You know, your thesis, the accident. <laughs> The thesis is the least weighing things out of everything. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> the murders, the blood, that paper you gotta write. <laughs> Pop-Tart. You know, he looks like Bradley Cooper kind of at this angle, mixed with pro-Jared. <laughs> the pro-Jared. That, that's, a, that's a great call, actually. I would at least go in teams of two. There's no way I'm trusting one person to do this. Those aren't PBRs. See, the reason I said he's a good actor is because he's the only one that's made me feel anything. <laughs> the other ones are like, because everybody else sucks. Because yeah, everyone else is like, oh, this is like a student film or something. But he's like made me uncomfortable at times, like right now. I think everyone's just had to like have these emotional moments. And wait, what is the uh, what is he doing? That's that's what I'm saying. He's making me uncomfortable. He's sweating again. Huh? Oh, the mannequin speaks to him. Oh, you stupid idiot. Oh, you think you'd be motivated enough to not get murdered by that thing? If you guys aren't sleeping anyways, why the fuck didn't you post up with him too? Uh, uh, phenomenal question. You could have had this conversation while just still like casually making eye contact with the- Oh, sorry. The coffee should be ready by now. I, I guess I missed the really romantic line that was said before I that. also missed it. Oh, damn it, Jonah. Oh, it's like a... This is another Shining reference. Mannequin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. No, that straight up is... That's a Shining reference. It's a lot less impactful than the original. Oh, it said mannequin. Oh, mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> so these long blinks he's been taking don't count? I'm guessing the mannequin's getting closer? You don't know what you've done. They don't know what he's done either. I'm a PhD candidate, Jonah. Oh! I know things you couldn't even begin to comprehend. Jonah. Has it ever occurred to you that I'm in a highly competitive academic program? <laughs> Bet you can't even spell mannequin. It took me a lot of tries. I always knew that guy was nuts. Did you? I feel like you met him tonight. Do you think it's over? <laughs> well, Cinema Sins, Ralph. <gasps> oh! Starts dancing. <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed weird. They're letting it linger on that effect shot. We know it's weakness. Weakness? That thing's unstoppable. No. Um, um, Let's split up. This isn't Scooby Doo, Jonah. Am I, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've. I saw it. Where? It's not even. It's not even giving me time to digest anything. My phone's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, what's its weakness? I assume they just mean like looking at it. What is this music? This is just like around the clock, the movie. Is, it, is that also a reference? Because that didn't make any sense, so I'm assuming this has to be a reference. I don't know it, if it is a reference. Oh. Oh, the mannequin hasn't killed him because he's blind? Oh. I'm not even sure if that makes sense, actually, now that I say it out loud. <laughs> Tracked it as far as Moscow. How? How is he tracking it? You know, because his, his hearing's better now. Sense of smell. That makes sense. Good coffee. I'd kill for some more. 
just shoots that guy in the face. Or something. I need something to drink. We need four more PBR stat. She, why is she so scared of him? She had a baseball bat. To be fair, it was a stranger off of Reddit that they just invited over to their house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is she testing him? How many fingers am I holding up? What? This guy's a fucking perv. She just saw her boyfriend get decapitated. Mm-hmm. Victor is back! Huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, what? All right. Is that coffee ready? Oh, I see. I see why he's doing it. To put an end to it, he kill her and then, like, maybe himself, and then he- Right, okay, gotcha. Because she's technically keeping it alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's blind. What are the chances the mannequin saves her? I think very low. <laughs> I think so too, but I don't see how this ends. See, what I tell you about the senses, he can smell. <laughs> He's got a butt plug in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's like la lazily hitting it. Oh, oh. Oh, what's the game plan? That kind of sucks that that guy's dead now. Because now, now nothing matters. I don't think it mattered to begin with. I mean, yeah, but like, this is the end of the movie. I know, but his whole thing was that he was lying. He's like, oh, I gotta kill you guys. I guess, yeah, because he was trying to stop it once and for all. Yeah, so, so it didn't matter anyway. Uh, I mean, at least give him that last kiss he was looking for. Maybe that'll bring him back. Oh, my... That loud noise almost got me just because I got so sleepy. <laughs> like, really? my, my eyes were closing. Oh, she's gonna fuck it. <laughs> just say she's falling in love. Just like hands slowly running down the chest. Oh, it's looking at itself. Oh, the mirror broke it. It has to kill itself. Yeah, he's he's in love with himself. I'm Knuff. She's just gonna leave? I mean, yeah, he's just stuck in an eternal loop. She can't just leave. I mean, I assume like police would arrive at some point. Someone's gonna move it, and she's one of the people that's seen it. So it's gonna come for her. That's why I just, they're just gonna fast forward past that part, though. Oh, she's moved to a new place. Okay. You never really liked that guy. How'd it go? Uh, You're still alive? She's like imagining things. Is it gonna be her talking to the dummy because he's like living in her house now? Ooh, yeah, maybe. That was real? Oh, it's looking at us now. Is it? Oh, no, dude. No, dude. I could have gone to bed an hour and 20 minutes before this. Hey, dedicated to John Carpenter. This was in theaters. Shut the fuck up. No, it was not. Palpably scary, atmospheric, and thrilling. It is one of the best horror films of the year. I'm a PhD candidate, Jonah. There was so much nothing. So much nothing. I was right. It did get better later. If I had a whole lot more of that one guy just reading lines, I would have had a much better time. If it would have just been more jokey, I still don't know if it's satirical. It was too much nothing. It wasn't bad enough to be funny. It definitely was not good enough to be good. It was like a YouTube horror short that they were like, yeah, make this an hour and 22 minutes. Except they've done that with other movies like Lights Out. Lights Out. How on earth? This guy posted, just looking for a movie to see tonight. Came across a movie called Don't Look Away and was wondering if you've seen it. There are not many reviews on it yet. Please let me know if it's worth watching in theater. Thanks. And then update. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> the script was quite goofy and comical and some of the acting was terrible. I'm mad we wasted gas to see this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're considering watching in theater, don't. Just wait till it's out for streaming because it's not worth the theater viewing. I don't think the movie's supposed to be like a joke. I think there's little like cute pokes in the movie, but I think for the most part, it's taking itself seriously. It's so bad. Or can I not say that because the premise is a fucking haunted mannequin? You know what the problem was? The movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so boring. <laughs> it was boring as shit. Painfully boring. I was just grasping at straws, trying to think of anything to say. Having to like be like, that guy looks like Ian from Smosh. I can't even comment <laughs> on the movie. And that was the majority of my commentary, just talking about like, yeah, who's this guy look like? Who does that? look like every time the camera's on him he looks like a different guy there's just nothing to say that was horrendous that was so bad oh, what a fucking waste of time it's, it's, genuinely oh.